I will be reviewing the Morphe and James Charles brush set and the big version. So is it still worth it in 2020 to buy this brush set all together? If you want to know all the information from the brushes, from the price, and is if it's still worth it today in 2020, then keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time that I post a video. So let's get into it right away. There will be timestamps down in the description box if you want specific information about a brush, a product, or anything in particular. So don't worry about this. Everything will be listed down below and you can go check it out. So what is it exactly? It is a brush set from Morphe created by James Charles. It is a collaboration between Morphe and James Charles made in November 2018. That's when it came out on his YouTube channel. And I am so excited to be looking at it because I needed some brushes and I'm going to be telling you why I bought this br brush set in particular and why I chose this brush set instead of other ones. So let's start off with the packaging. So you start off with a nice unicorn with nice writing, which is really sleek. There is some white writing on it and and it is written Morphe and James Charles and hopefully you can see it with the, all of this lighting. All the brushes are listed behind the unicorn so if you want to know every single brush you can either keep the box or you can go check out on the Morphe website. So when you open up the packaging, you can see that there is this custom tubby inside, which is faux leather and it feels really, really nice. It is really tight. There's some snaps on the side if you want to close it and you can store all your brushes inside. And then when you open it up, you see that all the brushes are covered with plastic so they are well protected. There is also carbon in the packaging which you need to throw away so nobody can put them in their mouth. <laughs> and this is to keep the freshness of the packaging. Also, they are all individually packed and they are packed in, within a big bag themselves. So I'm going to be taking out the packaging and then I'll show you all the brushes together um, one by one. Before we pass to the individual brushes, I want to talk about the price. So how expensive is it? Is it really worth the price or anything? That will be at the end of it, the video. But for now, I will tell you what the real price is. So this set in Canadian is $190 and there's a value of $349 Canadian, which is a lot of money. But considering it is $190 and you can get some money off with some influencer discounts which are 10% off um, or you can go on the website right now and for your first purchase when you put your email you will have 20% off so I did buy for the first time on the website so I had a 20% off discount on my brushes so it cost me a total of $174 for this brush set so it comes around $5 a piece which is really cheap and the tubby came for free so that's really nice and there's two you know you can use them as uh, things on your table to put your brushes your makeup and everything in it and why do I think that it is different than any other brush set the reason why is there's a lot of dupes like duplicates and triplets of the same brushes so I'm going to be explaining you all of this while I am showing you the brushes and of course I'm going to be showing you how to apply the makeup with the brush during the video so you're not going to see this makeup look. Um, this is something else. And if you want to go check it out, it's going to be up here or down below to go check out this makeup tutorial in particular. So let's go check out these brushes right away and I'll show you um, what it is. So I also want to point out that some brushes are synthetic and some brushes are from real animal hair. So if you don't like to have anything that is animal or not vegan, well, you shouldn't be buying this brush set. But let's continue and let's show the brushes and what they look like and its uses. So we will start with the M439 Deluxe Buffer Brush, which is a foundation brush. Apparently, it is the best foundation brush in the world and I can totally agree. Um, it will create a really filter-free foundation and it will create a flawless finish which is amazing and it will give you the most full coverage without absorbing too much foundation which brushes usually they don't really absorb that much product. And then after that you have the E48 Mini Pointed Powder Brush which is excellent. So this brush in particular is made for powders under the eye so it can be for setting the eye, for removing powder, for whatever you want. Um, I like the fact that it is really pointy at the top and the bristles are really packed together but they are still moldable so that means that it really goes into the curves that you tell them to. So there's the M527 
which is a deluxe pointed powder brush. I had it as long as the M439 and that's all I've been taking to apply my bronzer and I really, really love it. So as you can see, this is my brush, which is, you know, tapered a little bit. It's not tapered anymore and it flatters. And there's a little bit of fallout with this full real bristles, which is kind of normal from how it is and the material as well. And there's a M405 contour blush brush, which can be used for contour, can be used for blush, can be used for whatever you want. Um, I like this brush. I am really excited to try it. It is packed, but it is angled as well. If you want, these bristles are not too packed. They are still movable. And of course, they will shed a little bit. So the white brushes, they shed a little bit when I open them. And that's one thing that I want to keep in mind. And I want to tell you, which is totally normal. If it sheds too much, you can contact Morphe and complain about it. And they will probably send you a newest one. The E62 Angle Nose Contour Brush is custom designed by James Charles and if you want to get your hands on it, you have to buy this set. So there's those things which when you um, buy the James Charles set, you will have brushes that you cannot get separately on the Morphe website. And this one specifically is made for nose contour and you all know that James Charles loves his nose contour and I kind of need some too because my nose is kind of crooked in any way. So. I'm gonna be trying this out and like there's a lot of brushes that I'm excited about because I don't have a, that much brushes. This E4 angled contour brush is perfect to get that contour snatch because it is like really packed but not that much so it's easy to blend things out. You can also use this as a blush brush depending on your preference uh, between the other brush which is the M405 and the E4. So maybe you'll prefer the... 405 for blush, maybe you prefer it for contour. Then there's Mr. 501 and 501 <laughs> and this one is the Pro Pointed Blender and it is a favorite of MUAs and Beauty Gurus which I never tried before so I'm gonna have to try it but this is perfect for highlight. I like the fact that it is pointy and rounded at the same time. It gives a really super precise highlighter brush and precise application and then and then there is the M410, which is a flat concealer brush. Um, it is really sharp and it's to get, for example, the brow bone. And I'm gonna have to try this because I'm really used to a round concealer brush, which usually I take a round one for my eyebrows, but maybe this is will, this will be revo revolutionary because James Charles really swear by this flat concealer brush. And that's what he uses like all the time to clean up his brows. So I think it's really precise. Um, for sure for me, like in those rounder areas, I, I think it's like kind of weird to me that I would have like a straight concealer brush, but you could even use this for example under the eyes or really a precise application liner, it really depends on what you want to do. And then, oh my god, this one, I am so excited because I'm so tired of using my fingers to clean up my concealer under my eyes. And this one is the M173 mini buffer brush, which is for concealer. This is for the under eye. Um, it was explaining in his video that it was also for the eyelid. So if you have a P. Louise base or Anastasia Beverly Hill or any eye primer base, you can use this to buff it out, which me, I'm gonna be using it for under eye concealer and the base as well, because I'm used to using my fingers and the makeup gets literally everywhere. And this is, I'm gonna tell you if this is really good. Like I'm gonna be giving you an update on all the brushes and everything. So. Um, um, which one I like, which one I don't like, and this one I'm really excited to use. So that is the face brushes, so let's jump right into the eye brushes, which um, I have a lot, which you can know, I have a lot, but let's focus on the James Shell set. So in these eye brushes, I will tell you that there's a lot of doubles and a lot of triples, and I think it is amazing idea, which you don't never really see that in any other makeup brush set. So this is amazing. It's revolutionary and I hope that other brands will do that as well because it is the perfect, maybe perfect, I will tell you at the end, um, brush set? I don't know. I will have to try it out and I will tell you for sure. The M224 Oval Camouflage Brush. There are two of these brushes. Could be from 
concealing powder, you can cut the crease, you can really do anything with these brushes because they are round and they are precise. So the M431, the next brushes are scission pencil crease brushes, which you have two of them and they are natural hair. So that's why I wanted to point it out and they are extremely precise and it actually looks like a pencil. So it's really to blend these areas and even other areas, maybe under the brow bone or even under the eye, depending on what you want to do with them. But they are very versatile and can do whatever you want with them. Of course, usually with natural hair, you have a different application with them. So if you want more information on how to apply eyeshadow or anything like this, I can do an entire video on how to apply brushes on natural hair versus on synthetic hair if you are really interested in it. And then there's the M158, which is an angle brush for the brow and a little spoolie at the end, which is always useful. I have so many spoolie brushes. <laughs> like the spoolie is really everything for placing the brow before putting a pomade so if you have a pomade and you you need like for example the Anastasia Beverly Hill dip brow pomade you're gonna be taking this and it is really sharp and precise or really thin for application and then there's three M441 which these ones are pro blending brushes firm blending crease brushes which are a little bit more domey like and when I open them like this one right here is shedding a little bit um, so that's one thing that you have to keep in mind. These brushes do shed. Uh, this is a popular blending brush apparently and I'm try excited to try it out because I mostly never tried any of these brushes. And the M433 Pro Firm Fluff, Firm and Fluff, Pro Firm Blending Fluff Brush. Sorry, I had to read that because that was kind of a lot. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> but these brushes are more on the flatter side. So the other ones were more rounder and oval and round. But these ones are flat on the side and they are round at the top. So you will see that perfect for seamless transition. So if you want a nice transition shade and something really precise, um, this is going to be your brush. And then another one that James Charles decided to create with the Morphe team. And I think they are really, really nice. Um, it is M456, which is a mini firm blending brush and there are three of these and James Charles swears by them. He says that he has like 27 of those, <laughs> which is really funny. And it is the same as the other one, the M433 brush, but it is a smaller version of it. So it's this little sister. So in the description, it says that it's perfect for really detailed blending or even for people that have smaller eyes like me or some hooded eyes that really need extra detail and extra blending because we all need extra blending here. And you have to take this into account that if you want these brushes, you do have to buy the James Shell set because it's not sold separately on the website as well. And then you have two M166, which are the oval eyeshadow brush. So this is really perfect for placing pigment after cutting the crease on the inner or outer corner of the eye or wherever you want to pack pigment. If you want to pack pigment on your face, depending on the type of makeup that you do, this will be a nice big brush to apply the pigment really easily and comfortably on your eye or any er other area of your face. Then you have 2M124 Firm Shadow Brush, which these ones are natural bristles. So if you don't like natural bristles, don't get this set again because it is not completely vegan and cruelty free. Um, but these ones, apparently it's good to put some highlighter on the other brow bone, but it is for me a mini packer brush. So for some areas that need packing a little bit more precisely, like the highlighter under the brow bone, or um, if you have a mini crease or like mini creases that you did, like depending on the eye look that you did or on the face or even on the lips, you can use this as the lip to pack things because it is smaller and more precise. It would be really good for these purposes as well. And then you have the M506, which is a tapered mini blender brush. And you have two of these, which is for precision blending. It is a little dome, uh, really round, really packed tightly, but it's still you're able to move the bristles very easily to really blend these eyeshadows really quickly. And it is mostly for the outer V, that's what it's written on the website. So, but you can do in the inner corner here or even under the eye if you don't have anything else. Um, but these brushes are really nice. I mean, we are near the end. Ooh. These brushes are tiny. They are tiny and it is the m152 medium chisel brush medium chisel fluffing brush <laughs> fluff brush anyways 
I have a hard time saying this, but you have two of these. They are really, really tiny and they are precise enough to go and do their lower lash line, which I have a million of these brushes because cheap brushes like these are sold everywhere. So I'm not saying that they are cheap, but usually when you buy uh, brushes at the drugstore, there's a lot of these in every single pack. So I have like 1 million of these brushes. The two last brushes, which are incredibly important for any makeup artist out there, they are liner brushes. So they are the M251 Detail Liner Brush. And you have two because Jim Charles is generous enough to give you two. Um, you don't only need one, you need two. And they look super, super precise with synthetic bristles. Um, they have like a little plasticky thing on top of it. I don't think I'm going to remo remove it to show you. But because um, I want to keep them clean and really sharp. Because you, you know well enough that those liner brushes, they do fade over time. And the bristles go around and it's not as sharp anymore. So the more you take care of it, the longer you're going to be able to use it. And you want your application to be as precise every single time so you can use this with liquid lipsticks so you can even use this for uh, a lip contour or anything like this if if you don't have any lip liners you can use this with the liquid lipstick to really line your lips before applying the liquid lipsticks and it's going to be super super precise so that is all of the brushes in this little tubby and there is an extra thing that i didn't show you yet it is the morphe sponge which i already have i'm not going to be opening it because i don't really use sponges anymore my sponge which is this one right here and it becomes bigger when you put it in water and of course it looks dirty. It is clean but it looks dirty. I don't like sponges. I'm sorry. Like I know it's really cute for people that use um, you know sponges and everything. So this is for highlight and contour. It is a beauty sponge. So as you can see it is this one right here. Um, I'm gonna leave it in its packaging. I'm probably gonna do a giveaway gonna leave it on the side for a giveaway or to give it away to somebody probably in a giveaway honestly so that's what it looks like so that's all the brushes um you saw me apply a little bit with the new brushes that i just bought of course every the footage um i'm not gonna be applying this makeup with the brushes so if you want to go check out this makeup tutorial again it's gonna be up here and down below so um what do i think about this brush set so for the price, I think it is a great idea. You have a little tubby to travel with. Of course, the tubby is kind of huge. So if you don't have a lot of space, it would be better to put it into a bag. But on your vanity, it is the perfect thing to put your makeup in. So it one could be for your brushes and the other one could be for putting makeup inside of it. So I really think that James Charles has a great idea. And even if... Um, if you think that it's too expensive, this $190 Canadian minus 20% if you go on the website and it's your first purchase and you put your email or 10% off if you take, for example, James Charles code or anybody else's code, you could save a little bit of money. But overall, there are mini versions of this. So there's a mini eye version. If you only want eye brushes and you already have <laughs> a lot of other brushes, of course, there's a mini tubby that comes with it. But the fact that I was really attracted to this actually and it is written unleash your inner artist which that's what I'm doing right now I'm unleashing my inner artist with this brush set and with all the colors in his palette and it's probably gonna become my favorite set and everything so so if you are doing makeup looks every single day um, I do think that this would be a great investment but overall I do think it is a great idea and it's still relevant today to buy this brush set so I want to say also that there's a little bit of shedding with these brushes, especially the wet ones. I'm going to be repeating it because it is an ongoing issue with Morphe. Um, of course, when you think about it, I paid $5 per brush. So of course, there's going to be shedding. Cheaper brushes are going to shed and $5 a brush isn't that expensive considering that one brush could be really, really expensive when you buy it on its own. So it might be like $25 while well, you saved five times the price. <laughs> Um, but overall, I am really happy with my purchase. I'm excited to play with this and I'm going to be removing this and go do some makeup looks with it, trying them out and just enjoying them overall. So um, that is my final thoughts. I do recommend this product even from 
just this as well so i really love morphe brushes they are such a great deal for the price i do consider them being a dupe for mac cosmetics which they look basically the same <laughs> so thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment down below subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more of those awesome videos so i post five videos a week monday through friday and if you don't want to miss if you don't want to miss any video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time that I post a video. So I really love you beauties and I will see you in the next one. Bye beauties.